You may not recognize this humble man, but there's a good chance he played a role in saving your life or the life of someone you know. Earl Bakken and Medtronic, the company he co-founded more than 65 years ago, may be most well known for inventing the first battery-operated, wearable external pacemaker. But that life-saving device would be only the first of many technologies and therapies Medtronic would develop in the years to come. Earl Bakken not only invented the pacemaker, he really invented an industry. When you think about the technologies that have flowed from that invention, he's changed the face of modern medicine. Millions of patients have benefited from those uh, technologies. Earl Elmer Bakken was born to Florence and Oswald Bakken on January 10, 1924. From an early age, Earl was fascinated with electricity and his parents encouraged his exploration. In 1949, Earl Bakken founded Medtronic with his brother-in-law in a 600-square-foot garage in Minneapolis. At first, the company was simply a repair and service shop for electronic equipment used in hospitals. They were using a pacemaker that was huge, uh, moved around on a cart and plugged into AC on the wall. And one time, there was a blackout. A young youngster with, uh, who had just had heart surgery died. This well-known doctor, Dr. Lillehei, came to Earl and asked him if he would make a pacemaker that didn't plug into the wall. So Earl, Earl went back and, and thought about the, what he had asked him to make. Earl went back to the University Hospital to see how it was going. <laughs> He saw his pacemaker was attached to a little boy. <laughs> uh, and, and the pacemaker worked, worked great. Today, Medtronic inventions, innovations, and devices improve a life every three seconds. The company's devices and medical therapies helped 10 million people last year alone. My first uh, symptoms really started in 1972. I was active as a house painter and I was teaching and so forth and I had episodes where I was not feeling well at all. Uh, they established that I did have uh, a uh, irregular heart rate, but the short story is uh, March 13th of 1973, at age 34 and a half, I received my first pacemaker. I am right now on my seventh pacemaker. I was 34 and a half at that time. I am 76 now, which means I have lived over half my life uh, with a pacemaker. This represents 40 and a half years of my life, uh, starting in 1973 and coming up to January of this year. I was thinking that if it were not for Earl Bakken and his vision, and now the wonderful company of Medtronic, I would not be around to enjoy my family. I live in the present. I am grandpa to my grandkids, and I'm not a fading picture in a photo album. Earl served as Medtronic's chief executive officer and chairman from the company's incorporation in 1957 until 1976. He was senior chairman of the board through 1989 and retired from the board in 1994. Thanks to Earl's vision and leadership, Medtronic has grown into the largest medical technology company in the world, employing 49,000 people with a global reach of more than 140 countries. The company's technologies and devices treat more than 40 medical conditions. Back in the early 60s, Earl sat down and designed his 100-year strategic plan for Medtronic. Think about that. Everyone was doing three-year, one-year, five-year plans. Earl does a 100-year plan, and he draws a picture of the human body, and it shows all the different places and body organs where implantable devices can be used. You know, the interesting thing about that plan is that 50 years later, the company's halfway there. The vision that Earl had for the future uh, is really encompassed by uh, the mission that he stated for Medtronic, which is to use biomedical engineering to alleviate pain, restore health, and extend life. And he really meant that. He uh, had all kinds of ideas, uh, and he called it the 100-year plan, uh, through which uh, he would come out with uh, 
innovations and implants that would cover virtually every part of the human body. So that's a big piece of the vision that uh, Earl had for the future. And a lot of those, when he came out with it, uh, were very, seemingly very far-fetched. But yet many of them have already become reality. Earl Bakken is the embodiment of high tech and high touch, understanding that optimal medical care relies on a combination of cutting edge technology along with high quality care and compassion. He is a consummate businessman, a brilliant innovator, and a generous philanthropist. In 1975, Earl founded The Bakken, a nonprofit library, museum, and education center devoted to the history of electricity and magnetism and their uses in medicine and the life sciences. As a native Minnesotan, I have toured the Bakken Museum with my two young kids, and I can tell you that one of Earl's lasting contributions is that he has sparked the imagination of tomorrow's future scientists. Retiring from Medtronic in 1989 didn't stop Earl Bakken from continuing to work to improve the lives of others. In his new home state of Hawaii, he helped found the North Hawaii Community Hospital in 1996 with the mission of improving the health and wellness of the local people by integrating Hawaiian culture, healing traditions, and modern medicine. Earl not only gives of his time and his money, but he inspires and encourages others to pay it forward, thanks in part to several medical devices that have helped to keep him healthy and active he himself is a miracle of modern medicine, like the millions of patients he has helped. I started having different heart rhythms, and they felt very different. Um, I knew that it wasn't the pounding that I had always felt. So in December of 2000, I received a defibrillator, which is an implantable device, which kind of does the opposite of a pacemaker. So a pacemaker will help bring your heart rate up, and a defibrillator will help bring your heart rate down. I've had this device for 14 years, it's a part of me now. I can't imagine life without it. I think when people have something happen to them, they choose to either turn inward or outward. And by choosing to turn outward, my life is so rich. I chose to start Camp Odeon so kids with heart disease had a place where they belong. Because Medtronic devices and technologies have given new life to patients all over the world, Earl encourages the recipients to do something extraordinary with their extra life. Through the Bakken invitation, he challenges people who have benefited from medical technologies and therapies to give of their time to help others. As he says, live on and give on. So I was one of the lucky recipients of this award last year. I had the opportunity to travel to Hawaii and meet the nine other recipients of the award. It was a truly magical experience to be there with these people that are doing amazing things with their lives. AdvaMed's Lifetime Achievement Award is intended to recognize truly monumental accomplishments in the world of medical technology, a lifetime of contributions to our industry and most importantly to the patients we all serve. Earl's achievements and unparalleled leadership in medical innovation, public engagement, and philanthropy embody the significance of this award. As an industry, we continue to be inspired by uh, Earl's enormous contributions, his vision, his leadership. Earl's one of the greatest visionaries in the history of medicine. It's just uh, a, an enormous accomplishment in his life and career, what Earl has done for medical society, for humanity. He is an inspiration to anyone who gets to know him, and the world is such a much better place because he lives. I don't have words to thank Earl other than saying um, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so grateful because I've been given the opportunity of a second life.